Hey, this is Derek Jordan. Welcome to the World Fusion Show, where we bring you the leading innovators in world fusion music. Today, my guest is Hassan Hakmoun, who is a Moroccan musician, composer, player of the Sintir, and is a wonderful uh, player uh, who blends his traditional Kanawa Moroccan heritage with music from around the world, rock music and other. He's played with many people all over. Welcome, Hassan Akmoun, to the World Fusion Show. Thank you very much for having me, and I'm excited to be part of it today. Thank you. It's really great to have you. I'm so excited about being able to do this with you. Now, I'd love to start with a little bit about your background and how you got started with music and so people can get to know you a little bit. Yeah. Uh, well, like you said, uh, my name is Hassan Hakmoun, who is more born in Morocco and a city called Marrakesh. And I was born into a family of the music uh, heritage, you know, and uh, I grew up around music and especially the Kanawa music, uh, especially, you know, with that. My grandfather was a master uh, violin player and my mother is uh, a, 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 you know, a healer into it with the Gnawa music. You know, she's a, a great master healer. And this music, the Gnawa, I just, uh, I was surrounded by it and it's in my heart. That's how it started. Yeah, that's amazing. And I know you were very influenced to become a musician by your father, by your mother. And tell us a little bit about what your mother's work was with healing? Well, my mother is, uh, it's incredible because she has a really powerful healing. She, uh, uh, if somebody has possessed, you know, with certain things that uh, many doctors will find nothing, to, you know, they couldn't help you with. And uh, she does her healing and uh, with her healing, it's spiritual uh, gift that she's, uh, she has. Uh, she performs a ceremony for the person who's sick or uh, possessed with the, the, the spirit, as we say. And uh, after that, the next day, the person, if he couldn't stand, will stand or uh, certain things like that. If uh, they're, they're uh, uh, you know, crippled from the spirits, they will do the ceremony and... Uh, ask for the forgiveness back into the way it used to be. Yeah, that's amazing. Now, you also told me that you were very inspired by your sister and a very powerful healing that happened with her. Would you share that with us? Yes, uh, my sister, uh, her name is Zmina, and uh, she, when she was two years old, I was seven, and she was actually herself touched by the spirit meanings uh, she pees at night in the drain and we don't do hot water you know at night or stuff like that because we respect this the spirit but when she peed on the drain at night uh, the next day her body was burned kind of the cigarette marks all over her body and then uh, my mother did the ceremony night uh, to heal her uh, with the Gnawa masters and they performed the ceremony by uh, sacrificing goats and they let the blood goes into the, the drain to ask for forgiveness from the spirit and then they put my sister naked as you know young child inside the skin of that goat and then when they take her out of it everything's in her body disappeared and her skin goes back into normal. When I saw that, I was mesmerized of what I'm seeing and witnessing with my own eyes. And I said to myself, this is exactly what I want to do. That's great. Uh, fantastic. Thank you for sharing that. You're me. welcome. Um, I would like to go to our first video, which is uh, a piece called Kanawa on Fire. Um, would you introduce it for us, please? Yes, that song is a beautiful, beautiful song. And the name, Gnawa on Fire, it's the closest, you know, explanation I could, you know, explain to people. Because when, if you say it in the original uh, name, people will not understand it. When, when you add Gnawa on Fire, 
people want to know more about what what do you mean well that song it's actually put you on fire energy is in uh it's a very powerful song you know that's great okay so, oh, that's fantastic let's go to the video right now let's hear it very cool video now um i i wanted to talk about um your wonderful ct gift of Ganawa, with don cherry and adam rudolph um i think it's a very powerful recording um what was it like to make that well uh it's very interesting when you mentioned that cd uh the gift of the Ganawa. It, you know, it, it was actually with the connections of uh, World Music Institute through Robert Browning, who uh, gave my information to uh, Adam Rudolph. And then Adam Rudolph spoke with Don Cherry and also Richard Horowitz, who's playing the neigh, you know, the flute. Okay. And the four of us. Uh, we have done amazing attack with outreach. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, gift of the Kanawa CD. Well, I think so. It's really special. It was actually my introduction to you and your music. I know you also have done a lot of stuff with a rock trio with an electric guitar and drum set. Uh, that's been a part of your musical history. Um, and I very powerful and really a world fusion uh, type of music as well. Um, uh, that's, uh, want to say a little about that? Oh yeah, the, the first one, we did something, you know, in 1989, 
uh, at the night music with David Sambo and uh, the guest artist with Miles Davis, me, and then by the name of Dijavan from the from the from Brazil and the Midnight Oil. Yeah. So those four were, were one beautiful, one beautiful night of music, and that's what I met uh, Miles Davis. Ah. And 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 through that video, I met Danny Nirwa, who yes, uh, I met Danny Nirwa, who's actually the finder of of YouTube. Yes, who, who introduced me to Peter Gabriel. Anyway, I'm sure you've got stories about Miles Davis. Um, everyone does who's met him, I think. Um, but let's go to the video right now, okay? All right.
We are back with Hassan Hakmoon. And Hassan, um, I know you've worked with so many great people, Miles Davis, Peter Gabriel, many others. Um, do you want to share some of um, your meetings with them and your work with them? Yeah. Uh, Peter, Peter Gabriel, it's an incredible a man, a color of a, you know, artist, very talented, very special person that, you know, if you meet him, it's a blessing. Uh, he's an angel to me. Uh, he, uh, he did a lot for me. He helped me. I toured, I opened for him. I toured with him all over the world. And uh, we still have a wonderful, wonderful uh, relationship. And uh, I just want to thank him for what he did for me. You know, that's what I want to say about him. It's amazing, man. Uh, regarding Miles Davis, Miles Davis is a very talented, genius uh, person. If you have a chance to meet him, you're blessed, which I did. And um, uh, I was playing music uh, for, for rehearsing before the show on, on TV. I turned around and he was behind me listening to me. And I turned around, I stopped, and he just want me to keep going. No, don't, don't stop what I'm doing. After that, I asked to take a picture with him. And he told me after the show, come to my dressing room. I've done that, and I went inside. And uh, we talked music, and uh, he wanted to do something with me. And sadly, uh, he passed away Yeah. after that. That's too bad. Um, uh He's such a great musician, and likewise, Peter. Of course. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. That you got. And I know you've played with many, many other people, and you've won mm. many awards for your music, many collaborations around the world with so many great musicians. Um, anything else you want to share with us from that, those times? Yes, I want to, you know, there's so many musicians I wanted to name, you know, like, you know, Adam Rudolph. James Sheet Sherifi, Ital Shure, who uh, wrote The Smooth for Santana. Um, you know, Brian Prevgan is a great, talented musician. Uh, uh, so many, I mean, from Zahar, you know, David Bank, you know, Joe Scott, Aubrey Deal, um, Rick Rivera, uh, Mac B, and I hope I don't forget this brother, uh, brothers that I did a lot of work with. So, so many, so many. And if I forget their names, I'll ask for their forgiveness. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they'll have to forgive you. So, yeah. I'd love to go to our next video, uh, which is you playing Sintir in a small setting and uh, really shows the Sintir really well. Let's go to the video right now.
back with Asan Akmoon. And Asan, I just wanted to ask you about how you're doing during this time of COVID. And I know you recently lost your mother and it's been very hard for a lot of us, but tell me um, how you're feeling and dealing with this. Well, you know, one thing, you know, about losing my mom, uh, I'm very close to my mother. She's, uh, I brought her here in the States in 1994. She's been with me since then. Uh, I worked so hard. She became an American citizen, um, got her passport in uh, September 2020. So she got a chance to vote for the first time, and we all want to vote uh, for Biden, and we want some change in life, and especially in America. And that's what all she did, and then she passed away. I do not have any regrets with, you know, uh, or I could have done for my mom or more, uh, because I, I feel like, as she told me, I've done so much, you know, for, for her. And I could have, I wish I could have done more anyway, but still, I'm very happy the way, you know, things happen. I, I believe regarding anybody passing away, something that did something to you. You want actually to have how, what happens, the guy was walking, he died, or coronavirus comes or whatever. But then I see the big picture is when your time comes, it doesn't matter what it is. You got to go, you got to go. And I think my mother's time was that after six days after her birthday, 94 years old. And I think she had a really wonderful time in life. And we had an amazing time with her. And uh, I am very dearly, I'm, uh, you know, I'm very close to her. So I pray uh, one day I will get to see her again. I'm sure you will. I recently lost my mentor, Mofer Graves, uh, not to COVID, but it's been difficult, you know, adjusting to having him gone. Um, but you're right. I think we have to just keep moving forward and just keep sharing uh, what we have with people in our... That's right. You know, I know you're doing that and making plans for the future for your music as well. Yes, I definitely, uh, whatever gift that I got is a blessing. And it's not just for me, it's, you know, it's for me to share. And sharing is that's how we become a good human being in life. Um, and selfish in any way, not just music, but in general. When you share, it's good. You know, it's a beautiful thing. That's right. And I think someone said it's really important to be a good human being. <laughs> it's that's right. more important than being a good musician. So yes. something we try to do, right? Yeah. yeah. So, Asan, I would like to go to our fourth video and uh, just uh, and check this out. It's more wonderful music that you've brought to the world. Let's go to the video right now. Yes, let's do that. <laughs>
Sintir player extraordinaire. And Hassan, I just wanted to thank you so much for being our guest today on the World Fusion Show. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. And it's a pleasure. Definitely. I'm so glad we can share your music with our audience. Anyway, thanks so much for being here. Hey, this is Derek Jordan. Thank you for joining us today on the World Fusion Show. It's been great to have you. We have lots more wonderful shows with very inspiring guests coming up from all over the planet. And we're gonna keep on spreading our message of diversity through inclusiveness. Please subscribe to us on our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook and share with your, your friends um, so we can keep this thing going. And just like to say thank you to our sponsors, McKenzie Family, Charitable Trust, Teens Beans, Ron Dance, Jeff Green, and um, Nancy Feinberg. Thank you, thank you for your generous support. And as we always say, think globally, listen locally, and support independent music. Music